Good morning. Welcome to a long overdue edition of Observations of an American Living in Germany. This one won't be too long. Um, <clears throat> there was recently the protest by the farmers. Um, I think they did a very good job with the protest. I only saw a couple of the vehicles going down the street, but they weren't being obnoxious. They weren't blocking emergency vehicles. And they cooperated with the police, at least from what I saw. Um, you know, they, they didn't, they tried not to keep people from being able to get to work. Uh, sometimes when people protest in the United States, they tend to block traffic and it gets really, really nasty and, and, and adversarial. But anyway, um, I, as I said in another video before, uh, we need truckers and farmers a lot more than we need politicians. But uh, I noticed there was a strike that started, I believe it was last night, two in the morning, there's a rail strike, uh, the Deutsche Bahn, and some of the lines are being affected. My wife took a train from Wiesbaden down to Garmisch. I think she had to make two transfers along the way, uh, Mannheim and Ulm or Munich. She had to switch trains, but she still made it there in about the same time it takes to drive. She's supposed to come home on Friday, and there's a whole bunch of cancellations. Uh, she's working on trying to find a way back here, even if it means going out of her way. Otherwise, I'll drive down Thursday afternoon and stay at the conference center where she is Thursday night, and I'll just drive her home in the car on Friday. But hopefully she'll be able to find a train. Um, I don't know, you know, the whole details of the strike. One article I read online said they were trying to go to a 35-hour work week. Well, holy smoke. <laughs> In the United States, that would be considered a part-time job. But nevertheless, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what their compensation plan is or whatnot. But it seems like everybody, you know, everywhere you go... Everybody wants more money because of inflation, higher prices. Well, it's like a dog chasing its tail sometimes. Uh, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. If there's more money chasing fewer goods, then prices are inevitably going to rise. When you add printing of money, dollars, euros, yen, yuan, whatever the currency is, when you print you put more money into the money supply, into circulation, that devalues every unit of currency that's already out there. So people are probably finding that they have more dollars or euros in their pocket, but that amount of money doesn't go as far as it used to. So then, you know, when the prices of energy and transportation and other things go up, then people want more money to pay for the higher costs, which in turn makes their product more expensive. That's how inflation can get out of control very quickly if you don't get a handle on it. But nevertheless, I hope that the, uh, the German transit workers or bond workers, whatever they call them, and the government come to some kind of understanding. Um, they did this with the bus drivers several months back, and man... I didn't realize how many people rode the bus when the buses weren't running. The traffic, which is already normally pretty bad, got really bad. But hopefully everybody will figure it out. They'll come to an understanding. And we'll get back on the way. I must say that uh, the time we took a train to Berlin, I've ridden on the short distance commuter trains a couple times, but that really doesn't count. But um, those ones that, uh, that when we went to Berlin and when we took one to the Frankfurt airport, I mean... Super clean, quiet, efficient. Seems like they really know what they're doing. Uh, the rail system in the United States is mainly just designed for freight. Amtrak couldn't hold a candle to the German Bahn, the Bahn, the Deutsche Bahn. But to be fair, the system is just different in the United States than it is here. Um, so many times that the Amtrak trains have to use uh, tracks that are owned by CSX, Norfolk Southern Union Pacific, or BNSF and whatnot. And it creates a problem sometimes because the freight trains are often too long to pull onto a siding. 
So the Amtrak train has to go on a siding and wait for the freight train to go by. And the trains in the United States are much, 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 much longer than the ones in Germany. The freight trains here, maybe, I think they have one locomotive, maybe 30 cars. They seem to go frequently. Whereas in the United States, they might have 200 cars being pulled by four locomotives. And they may only go down that track every couple hours. So it's an entirely different system. But it is really cool to see over here how the they seem to design the trains so that there's not that many crossings. I know they have some because I've been on a train here, but there's not a lot of at-grade crossings. They have underpasses and overpasses to keep uh, delays of traffic at a minimum. Uh, in the United States, there's a lot of places where you might get caught waiting for a train and you might be sitting there 10 minutes. But anyway, I'm going to cut this off for today. I, I, I'm not feeling very well today. I just hope everybody has a good Wednesday. Uh, how would you say that? Schön ist Mittwoch. Schön und Mittwoch. But anyway, that's all for now. Everybody take care and uh, have a very good day. Auf Wiedersehen.